IT's election night. It's 1.45 a.m. and Dominic Raab, the Tory candidate for Isha and Walton, has just lost his seat. Two hours later, the SNP's Ian Blackford is defeated in Ross, Sky, and Lock Harbour. How do I feel about it? Pretty damned good actually. It's for moments like this that we borrowed the word schadenfreude from the Germans. Will any of it happen though? Well, don't discount it because there's unpredictable stuff going on in this election that means we could get some major upsets. One of those at risk is Mr. Raab, the Brexiter who didn't understand how important Dover is to trade, and the man, too, who said people use food banks not because they're poor but because they have cash flow problems. The undercurrents also make Scottish seats like Mr. Blackford's just as hard to predict. The reason for the unpredictably is a trend in politics that started in earnest in the 1990s but has now reached its apotheosis. In 1997, after a false start in 1992, Labour won the general election thanks in a large part to tactical voting and it's been a significant factor in elections ever since. The Tories did well in Scotland in the last general election, for example, because so many voters chose to vote tactically against the SNP. Looking at the polls, this tactical voting trend is going to be even more important this year. According to polling by the Electoral Reform Society, 24% of voters plan to vote tactically to thwart a candidate they don't like, although it's amazing the figure isn't much higher. Theresa May would have won a majority in 2017 if just 0.0016% of voters had acted differently, and this time round, the result will come down to a couple of hundred thousand people. If enough of them vote tactically, Boris Johnson won't get his majority. Over the years, it looks like more and more voters have started to understand this and we're now at the point where tactical voting is almost like a political party of its own. It has led to weird sights such as the former Tory minister Michael Heseltine standing behind a Lib Dem podium and the former Blair PR man Alistair Campbell saying don't vote Labour. If Labour doesn't have a chance of winning, there are also any number of tactical voting websites that will tell you how to achieve your aim. And it appears to be starting to work. In 2017, Dominic Raab won Isha and Walton with nearly 60% of the vote and if the national polls were replicated in the seat on December 12, he would easily win again. However, the current polling in his seat puts the Tories on 46%, just 5% ahead of the Lib Dems. Perhaps Remainers in the constituency who are still wondering whether they should switch should listen to Alistair Campbell, don't vote Labour. Tactical voting is just as important, albeit more complicated, in Scotland, and there's evidence that the voters, and the P for more on this story, visit the news article link.